For many at DePaul, their time at the university is one of the most memorable periods of their life. And part of that is the relationships they make, not only with fellow students, but with people in Chicago. Now, many of those Chicagoans are hurting due to COVID-19. Good Day DePaul's Rebecca Chenard has their stories. While most college campuses are made to feel like their own little world, this is not the case at DePaul University. The Lincoln Park campus, which is home to the vast majority of student dorm rooms, is situated in the middle of a bustling Chicago neighborhood. That dynamic energy is the very essence of the DePaul experience. However, what was once a vibrant college environment has transformed into what some would call a ghost town. For over a year now, COVID-19 precautions have forced most classes to be held online, and dorm rooms are at an extremely limited capacity. With little to no foot traffic, the DePaul campus has become a shell of its former self, and students are feeling the effects. Um, well, it's not what I initially expected because there's not a lot of people um, out and about and it's just almost isolate it a bit just because you stick to your rooms and there's not events happening. Under normal circumstances, one of the best things about being at DePaul is discovering what the local neighborhood has to offer. The campus is surrounded by small businesses that have been loyal to the DePaul community for years, if not decades. Take Bronco's Sandwich Shop, for example. This business has been owned and run by the same family for 45 years. Bronco and Yelisa Jordanovsky bought the building just six months after arriving in Chicago, all the way from Southeast Europe. Now they have retired and the restaurant is run by the couple's children, including Gordana Jordanovska. Uh, they opened up the sandwich shop in 1976. Um, my dad started remodeling it uh, and the, the four of us, and my mom, um, would come and work with them whenever we could on the weekends after school. So uh, it was a it was a big sacrifice, but that's what we know. That's been our life. Ever since those early days, Broncos has treated members of the DePaul community like family. We, we all started together. Anja, the sister who now manages the shop, has become so familiar that people will often refer to her as Mama, just as they did with her mother before her. With DePaul University, that really has been an extension. I mean, some of the students are doctors now, and I'm not kidding you. Like, I went to the doctor's appointment with my dad, it was like 10 years ago. His doctor was a student, and so you know what my dad does? He literally would bring sandwiches to all the nurses and doctors. And you could say no, but he wouldn't listen to you. You would get a sandwich, and then a hug. Like other small businesses, Broncos has suffered over the past year due to Chicago's COVID-19 restrictions. The lack of population on and around campus has only made matters worse. The family was unable to receive government funding and has been covering costs out of pocket. With health concerns in mind as well, they decided to shut down temporarily. There's a similar story over at Kelly's Pub, which was opened in 1933 and has since been owned and run by succeeding generations of the Kelly family. The current owner, Megan Kelly, talks about the relationship her tavern has always shared with the DePaul community. Symbiotic. <laughs> I mean, we've always been in the DePaul community. The DePaul community has gotten bigger since we've been there, but it, it's always certainly been part of the DePaul community. I have lots of gray haired people coming in telling me they went to Kelly's Pub when they were in college, you know? So we, we are definitely um, linked in people's hearts and minds. Kelly's has also been shut down due to COVID-19 restrictions. As a smaller venue, they're unable to seat guests inside while maintaining social distancing. It's been going on for a year. We all know what's going on and it's rough on everybody. So hopefully um, uh, other places, you know, can dig deep and survive. I know I talked to some other bars in the neighborhood, you know, we all kind of know each other and they're, you know, toughing it out, but nobody's making money until they can be a capacity. That's kind of the way we operate. McGee's Tavern is a neighbor to Kelly's and one of those businesses who has been toughing it out. They have remained open throughout the pandemic whenever the city restrictions have allowed them to. Manager Matthew Rosso shares how they have been able to accomplish that. Good ownership. Um, I think we have good management and we tried to focus not on what we couldn't do, but what we could do. We tried to work with the city. Um, you know, they were establishing kind of various rules as it went along. Um, and we just tried to remain accurate and flexible with those rules. Um, you know, obviously we had to pare down our staffing. We had to pare down a lot of things, but it has been hard. 
we do obviously miss our DePaul students. Um, it's it's their bar, um, but you know we've been able to make you know be, we've had the opportunity because other places have closed that people want a place where they can go have a drink and have a good bite to eat, and we're still that place. The good news is Kelly's and Broncos are planning to reopen their doors and get back to business as usual. The bad news, other businesses in the area will not be so lucky. One of the most notable losses in the neighborhood is the closing of Devil Dogs. Although the business has a few other locations across the city, this was the original shack, which opened over 10 years ago. What was once an extremely popular choice for late night diners was no longer able to sustain itself after students left Lincoln Park. These challenges caused a few places to be wiped completely off the map, such as the once popular sports bars, State and Derby. Although students and staff will of course look back and remember their time in the classroom, what is often most memorable about DePaul is the time spent exploring Chicago and this neighborhood in particular. For years, all of these businesses were a fundamental part of the campus experience. I mean, I have memories of all those places because <laughs> we were pretty frequent flyers and we went to we went to Derby, we went there once or twice and had an amazing time and have so many like snap memories from there. State, so, so, so many memories at State, Kelly's. I mean, just all these places that are good, wholesome, fun and such special places to me because of the memories I have there. It really bums me out that other people don't get to have experiences like I had at those places. Although the neighborhood is feeling a bit gloomier than usual, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. DePaul's president, Dr. A. Gabriel Esteban, has announced plans to reopen campus for fall 2021. What exactly the Lincoln Park neighborhood will look like by that point remains a mystery. However, here's hoping that increasing the campus population will breathe a little more life into the area. For Good Day DePaul, I'm Rebecca Chenard.